Right, hello and welcome to the lab on what is a very wet, horrible, miserable British autumn day. <sighs> Lovely, it's getting very cold in the lab here. Anyway, today we're going to do a bit of a pickups video for the stuff we got from Replay. Uh, some of the stuff is missing because it's stuff that the pink fluffy monk picked up and she's taking it to work so when she comes home I shall mug her and uh, may make a separate video to show you them but first of all before we do any more just a quick I'll just move up just for just for a gentleman on Facebook winner winner loser sorry couldn't resist that couldn't resist that bit of a battle going on in the Facebook group if you're in there you may understand if not you probably won't there we go anyway let's do the first of the small pickups because we may have to do this video in a different format because some of the pickups are especially large while well, they're the donations and I don't think they'll fit on the floor here oh dear. so I have to do them downstairs likely okay first of the small pickups and let's just get into shot they're spoiling my video and it is Kong Strikes Back for the Commodore 64. This is the first new game I've ever bought for the Commodore 64. And if you saw my replay video, you'll see that it's signed there by the author of the game, which is Bob Walkerman. Or Walk oh, I forget what the second name is and I can't read it. And I'm too lazy to use Google today, so Bob Walkerman. Yes, signed it for me, right in front of me. Thank you very much. And it is in there with instruction leaflet. So, I expect a review of that to come up forthwith. Second one is a bit larger. I'm not going to show it to you all, though. <laughs> you shall see its box. Witness the awesomeness of Ingersoll's Battle Command, the programmable electronic TV game. Not to forget, it is the latest programmable system. Proudly put on the front there. Well, it's the latest system if you're in 1978. Which uh, is what I found it is from. Quick look at the back there. Yes, not going to show you too much because that is going to appear in a separato, a videoto. Of its own, I do believe. Right, uh, now... A gentleman called Patrick came over from Alphonse. <laughs> Don't hold that against him. He's Belgian, I think. Are you Belgian, Patrick? Should I rip my head off now? But yes, he came over from France. How did he get through all the strikes? I do not know. But anyway, he bought me some donations, which I'm going to show you in a second. But he also bought me. And uh, I shall be in a moment doing this ashen style, but for now, I shall show you uh, what he bought me. Da, 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 da. Some Belgian cookies. These are the Belgian ones, aren't they? These are Belgian. Yes, Belgium. Belgium cookies. I think they're called cookies. I'm not sure. It's all in French. Sorry, Belgian. And uh, just in case, just to compare, we've got some French ones too. French cookies. So, for those of you who intend to hang around, if you know what I mean, we shall be reviewing these in a moment. But first of all, let's go and see the big bugger hanging around downstairs. No, oh, what the bugger is that? Why is it making that whole scary noise? Well, if you don't know what it is, I'm not going to tell you, isn't that handy? Because this is going to have its own video. But for those of you who do know what it is, yes, it's one of them, and yes, I've got one. Thanks to Patrick, who bought it, because... Well, let me just show you a sense of scale here. This is a typewriter. Yes, it's a wee bit big. Uh, the company Patrick is working for has finished with these so he decided well, no, they were throwing them out so he decided to refurbish one and uh, pass it on to me now 
Yes, I'm going to save this for its own video, but I just can't resist this bit. So I'm just going to pull this panel off here. And I'm going to power this thing on and let you witness its awesomeness. <laughs> I think that's only second in volume to the paint box's hard drive. That's the loud that's louder than the IBM drive by a long way. So, yes. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you, Patrick. That's the first of them. There's another one to come yet. <laughs> Hang on. Right. The other thing that Patrick bought us. Uh, from uh, Viva La France is this Dal Power Edge 830 server which also has been finished with by the company so it's been passed on to me after being refurbished it is now, listen to this oh you know that's good it has now become my main machine, it lives here in the, uh, oh, excuse me, it lives here in the living room. Uh, it's also my media centre, so we're just doing some upgrades to the memory video card and disk drives to bring it up where we can put all our media on it and use it as a media server so that I can access this from the home network or even at work. Great! Wonderful, my baby. So, thank you very much, Patrick. And uh, that's the pickups. I'll see once I've mugged uh, the pink fluffy monk. I shall see if I can get the stuff off her and do a separate video. So, yes, lots to play with, lots to do, and lots of new videos to generate. So, thank you very much to everybody who was there, and uh, thank you very much, Patrick, for the stuff. So, Hang around. Why did I say that? Well, you'll see. <laughs> right, and uh, why did I say hang around in the video? Well, because if you're paying attention in class, you'd know that uh, I said I'd review these which are the two sets of cookie, one Belgian or one French, which were very kindly bought to me by Patrick at Replay. Now I've got one problem at the moment. Which of these bloody things am I going to review first? There's only one way to decide that, and that is to give the Queen some head. I mean, use the Queen's head. Here, there we go. So, what should we say? Baldu? No, French. If I use the Queen's head on French stuff, there's going to be a few political issues. So, Belgium. Yes, so, I'm going to toss this coin. If it lands head up, it's Belgium first. If it lands tails up, it's the French first. So, here goes. Oh, got off camera. Oh, it's under. Oh, not in the camera now. Assault, assault. Anyway, let's try that again on camera. Right, here goes. Head! So we're going to go with, it's clearly head, look, clearly head. So we're going to go with Belgians first. Okay, so we have <laughs> Jules uh, Destupa, uh, natural waffles, waffles, sort of waffles. Is it waffles? Hmm, like that. Hmm, nice. Yes, very nice box, very posh. Butter crisps, ah, there is some English. Butter crisps, they are butter crisps. Hmm. Process an environment also containing, sorry, also involved in tree nut processing. Tree nut? Tree nut? Hmm. Okay. Anyway, let's open it up and see what we got. Nom 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 nom. Ooh, a silver bag. Mm, reflective. Mmm, really like reflective. No. <laughs> That used a lot of energy. Let's replace energy with butter crisp. Hmm, let's have a good at JD. I don't think that's JD Sports somehow. What was that? J. Let's have a cough camera. JE, I think. Oh, no. Possibly JD. Let's have a taste. Hmm. Nah. Never 
had anything like that before. It's basically exactly what it says on the packet. It's buttery. Mmm. And it's very crispy. Mmm. Very sweet. Very buttery. And very there for when I finish doing this video. Because I'm going to finish that bugger off. <laughs> right. So, yes, that is very nice. Uh, may have to resist temptation uh, to eat all this before wifey gets here. <laughs> anyway, on the other packet, we have... Dum, 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 dum. La main plaudre. Le main Saint Michel. Uh, the crispies are the biscuits. Uh, let's uh, open the biscuits and uh, let's see what we have. Oh, this is not what I expected. Okay. A lot softer than I expected. Uh, nice brown baked colour. Uh, feels slightly oily in texture. Strange. Let's have a taste. Actually, very similar to that. But I'd say, slightly, mm, slightly, mm, sweeter, oilier, and less crispy, I should say. Softer, that's the word. Oops, that bit's all gone. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so out of the two, Hmm. Depends on your mood. Hmm. That's the crispy one. That's the softer, sweeter one. So they're both good. I'm going to consume them. No, I must wait for Pink Fluffy to come home. No, consume. No, I must wait. Okay. Anyway, thank you very much. Bless you, Patrick. Thank you.